Yeah. Hello! We're in downtown Toronto right now and that's because we're actually going to Buffer Festival tonight because Sorel is premiering film. Boom! My first flutter bar. Her first flutter bar ever! <laughs> so today's video we're going to be sharing an important thing that is dear to my heart as well and yours. Yes. We both like making our photographs quite artistic. It is very hard to stand out from the crowd sometimes doing the exact same thing. So today we're going to teach you how to do more artistic photos to level up your game so you can stand out from the crowd and get them likes. Get them likes. <laughs> That's why we all do it. that one of the biggest things that are going to differentiate your photos is artistic poses. Way too often people do normal poses in their photographs and I understand posing can be a little bit more difficult but if you take the time to study great poses from like high fashion shoot magazines for example you're going to figure out this amazing twist to a photograph that not many people do and that is going to level up your photographs they're going to look outrageously lit. Really really great method of getting your photos high fashion and artsy. for you guys to do when you're trying to take that artistic style photo is to go on Pinterest and look up different styles of photos all within the theme that you're going for because all that's gonna do is really start the ball rolling on getting those creative ideas going but just make sure that you're not copying anyone else's photo let's keep it all you and just use it as a tool to really get some new creative ideas looking at the Pinterest board is one idea but another thing that I actually do is I go to certain locations and I don't look at inspiration at all I have certain photographers that I follow that I admire their work and I get inspiration from that but I try to not recreate the locations that they're in or exact poses that they're in I just draw inspiration from that and I try to do the opposite of what most people are doing so that's why I don't look at inspiration from say like Instagram or whatever I avoid Instagram and the typical Instagram poses so that I can just make sure that I come up with my own idea my own photograph using my own eyes and my own creative abilities tip I have for you guys is definitely have a story or a theme in mind for that artistic photo because all it's gonna do is make it a lot easier for you to come up with the props the outfits and choose your lighting all of those little details when you're going into your shoot day because when you're going into a shoot with that clear emotion and theme in mind all that's gonna do for your audience when they're looking at your photo later is make it that much easier for them to interpret that same emotion in your art When it comes to artistic photographs, it is impeccable that your clothing choice is on point. I think too many times people overlook this. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be high fashion. It just has to look good. In all of my photographs, I make sure that it's either well-fitted, solid colors, no logos, for the love of God, no logos. <laughs> Unless you're shooting a campaign for logos, obviously. It is about the clothing very heavily. Make sure it suits the storyline as well. Make sure it suits the model, whoever you're working with, yourself, if you're taking photos of yourself. Clothing must be on point. depth to your photo can be a really great way to create a much more artistic photo so there's a couple ways that you can do this the first way is you can use the setting that you're in so you can use flowers like this to actually frame your image or maybe tree branches or whatever you have that's nearby or Sorel does this a lot in her photography she actually reaches out so she's using a really creative pose and using her own arm to add depth to the photo another thing that Sorel does yes I'm referencing all of Sorrel's photography because obviously it's awesome. She'll actually stagger her subjects. So recently she did some photos with her boyfriend and she was in the front and her boyfriend was actually just behind her. So through these techniques, it frames your subjects and just adds a bit of story. So depth, depth to your photo. One thing that people sometimes ask me to do is the ugly location challenge for my photographs. I don't really know why you would do that to yourself because half of the story, in order to get a beautiful photograph, an arty photograph, you need a beautiful background. Don't put yourself through that stress. Find beautiful locations. It could be beautiful buildings like this. It could be beautiful nature spots, which are for free quite often. So just get out there, find beautiful locations, and it's gonna make your photographs so much more artsy and magazine worthy.
make sure you remember to play with different lighting techniques and different angles because that's what's really going to differentiate your photo. Keep these techniques in mind. You can silhouette your photo or you can use negative space. And using low angles is actually really popular in high fashion photography as well. The final thing you can do to make your photographs really artsy is to make sure that you edit them in an artistic way. There are so many possibilities when it comes to editing to make them look high fashion. Don't stick to the normal colors of like, hey, this is green, so make it green. You can play around with this. Meet the greens, enhance different colors. It's going to completely change the vibe of your photographs. Quite often when I take my own photographs, it doesn't look high fashion until I slap on a really nice preset that I have. Or Lizzie sells some beautiful ones as well. So you can do that for yourself. Getting presets that are artistic is definitely going to help you get that stepping stone for artistic photographs. So yes, make sure that you always edit in an artistic way. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I really hope that we gave you some helpful tips to take some really artistic photos from now on. And thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much for, for coming in. It has been joyful. Joyful. I've loved it's it. It's been wonderful. She's we such a like legend. Her. We've been DMing for the longest time. We have. I wanted to meet her for so long because I knew we were going to be besties. And here we are. You're so much lovelier even in person. Ah! This is the long like things for watching. Yeah. If you like this video, guys, please don't forget to give it a like down below. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you head over to Sorel channel as well because we have another video that's actually on her channel right now and subscribe to her don't forget so me and and Sorrel. and then hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos every week guys I'll see you in the next one <laughs> yeah. no let's be done <laughs> a city look yes. a city look yes. <laughs> yeah. whenever wherever when to be together I'll be there and you'll be